Hello, so welcome back to another video. Before we get into our lesson, I want to review yesterday's lesson on time, telling time. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video now, determine the time on this clock, and then press play when you're ready and we'll check our time. All right, welcome back. So by now you should have told the time, you should have, you should have a, a time in mind, so that way you can check to see if you're correct. So first thing I'm going to do is look at the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, and I see it's pointing between 2 and 3, so that means it is still 2 o'clock, it has not reached the 3 just yet. Also this minute hand hasn't passed the 12, so that's another way I can tell it's still 2 o'clock. And I'm going to look at the minute hand, so I'm going to count by 5s until I get all the way around to the exact minute. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. One more minute is 46, and another minute is 47, because 45 plus 2 is 47. So the exact time is 247. All right, let's get into our learning intention. Today we're completing Module 2, Lesson 4. Thoughtful mathematicians solve word problems involving time intervals within one hour by counting backward and forward using the number line and clock. So we're going to be telling elapsed time. That's another word for time intervals. Analog clock, just to refresh our memory, is the normal clock we usually see on a wall, and it uses the positions of the hour and minute hands to tell time. So the hour hand is a shorter hand, the minute hand is the longer hand. Elapsed time or a time interval is the amount of time that has passed. PM is the abbreviation for afternoon and evening hours, so the time between 12 noon and 12 midnight. And AM is the opposite, it is the morning hours from 12 midnight to 12 noon. So how exactly do we calculate elapsed time? Well, first you determine the starting point and draw it on the number line. So here I have 254, that is the starting time. Next, draw the end point on the number line. So I know I'm going to try to get up to 326, and I add it onto my number line. After that, count up or down to calculate the amount of time that has passed. So in this case, I see that I'm counting up. So I started at 254, I add six to get to three o'clock because that's a friendlier time than 254 has zeros, and zeros, numbers with zeros are always friendlier, they're easier to read and, find and add. So 254 plus 6 gets me to 3 o'clock. Then I can add another 10, and I get 310. Add one more 10, I get to 320, and then add 6 more from 320 to 326, and I finally get to my end point. So I have 6, 10, 10, and 6. So I finally add up all those minutes, and when I add them up, I get 30, Two. So the last thing I have to do is now write down my answer. 32 minutes have passed. So let's try one. I'm going to go ahead and do one, model one, and then we'll try one together, and then you'll do one on your own. Elisha starts reading at 6.23 p.m. He stops at 6.49 p.m. How many minutes does Elisha read? So I'm going to play 6.23 at my start, because that's when he starts. I'm going to place 649 at the end, because that is when he stops reading. So now I want to add minutes on my number line until I get to 649 from 623. So I'm going to start with 10. I'm going to add 10 minutes. That'll get me to 633. So I can add another 10. That will bring me to 6.43. So from 6.43 to 6.49, well, let's see, I'm just going to count up. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. That's six minutes, so I can add another six minutes. So I finally got to 6.49. So let's see, how many minutes was that? Well, 10 plus 10 is 20, and 20 plus 6 is 26. So 26 minutes. this in a full sentence. So Elisha 
reads for 26 minutes. So now let's try one together. So I want you to go ahead and draw this number line. And now we're going to read this word problem together. Natalia finishes piano practice at 2.45 p.m. after practicing for 37 minutes. She's ending at 2.45. What time did Natalia's practice start? So I want to know what time she started. But I know she's ending or finishing at 2.45. So let's go ahead and place that at the end of our number line. Please do what I'm doing on the screen right now. So we're placing 2.45 at the end, but we know 37, 37 minutes have passed. So how would we figure out what time she started using this number line? So I hope you said we can count back because we want to go from here back to the starting point when she started the practice. So we're going to count back 37 minutes. So the first set we can do is 10 minutes. So go back 10 minutes, and that would be 2.35. So now what can we do? We can go back another 10. That'll bring us to 2.25. Can we go back another 10 as well? Yes, we can, because we need to go 30 minutes, and we've only gone 20 so far. 37 minutes, sorry. So now we've gone 30 minutes at 2.15. So how much more minutes should we go back to get to Natalia's start time? We need one last, oops. We need to, okay, why does that keep happening? So I'm gonna go this way. So we'll need another seven minutes removed to have 37 in total. 10, 20, 30, 37. So if I go back seven minutes from 2.15, what time would that be? Right now, 15 minus seven is eight, so it'll be 2.08. So Natalia, and we can write our answer down. Natalia, oops, not finish your start. Natalia's practice started at 2.08 p.m. All right, let's look at the one you're going to do. Arlise works on her scrapbook from 11.27 a.m. to 11.58 a.m. How many minutes does she work on her scrapbook? So I want you to pause the video now and solve this on your own, then press play when you're ready to check your work. Again, pause now, press play when you're ready to go over your answer. All right, so this was similar to the first problem that I did where you had the start and end times and you had to either count up or down to figure it out. So I'm gonna place 11.27 a.m. on this side, that's the start, and 11.58 a.m. on this side because that is the end. So, I'm going to start from 27. I'm going to go up 10. That'll bring me to 11.37. So I can go up another 10. 11.47. And I can go up another 10. 11. Oops, sorry. That's 10. 11.57. And then to get from 11.57 to 11.58, I only need one more minute because that's one minute away from each other. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31. So our lease works on her scrapbook for 31 minutes.
thank you so much for watching. That is the end of our mini lesson. If you have any questions, if you have any doubts, if you aren't sure of something, please message me. Do not just assume and potentially misunderstand something or get something wrong. I'd rather you ask me first so you can reach out to me on Schoology or Hangouts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.